could you first of all introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Elliot Smith. You've been doing press in Europe for a, a week and a half now. Like it? Uh, <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. Yeah. So that means it sucks, right? Well, sort of. Yeah, you know, talking about yourself gets weird after a little while. Uh, but talking about your music, I can imagine, uh, getting weird as well? Uh, I love talking about music. It's just, if it's always my music, it's kind of strange. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Hey, uh, Figure Eight, your new album, uh, you just recorded it. How long did it took you? Oh, uh, it was done for like a week here and there over the course of a year. Maybe six weeks total. Where did you do it? In the studio? You you booked the studio and produced it yourself? Or? No, it was produced with me and two other people. And um, some of it was done in the U.S. Some of it was done at Abbey Road in London. How was that, Abbey Road? It was great. It's a good sounding place. Yeah, it's really because you, you get the impression from artists who go there, go like, well, it's this mystical, mysterious kind of place. Is, is that really the kind of, that's going on? It seemed that way. Um, a little bit, but once you're working in it, it seems like just a good sounding place, you know? What makes it so good, you think? It's a really big room, and I don't know. Would you have played there if the Beatles wouldn't have recorded there? Yeah, it's a great studio. Hey, you produce your albums yourself uh, up till now, right? Not the last one, but the ones before that, yeah. So why did you choose to work with producers now? Um... They helped me mix one of my records, and it's just nice to work with other people, you know? So it wasn't a case of a record company going like, well, we definitely need some production right now? No, no, they don't pressure me like that. Hey, uh, how did you get signed, actually, to... Well, I mean, we got the Universal logo on your music here, right? But, I mean, you are on, on DreamWorks, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know. They approached me, and I liked them better than... The other labels, you know. But, I mean, how do you get a deal? I mean, you, you've been playing a lot, or...? Well, this is my fifth record, yeah. No, but, I mean, uh, how did it start off? Because you, you, you just started playing, and you, and somebody, some, just sometimes an A&R guy walked up to you and go, like, well, let's make a record? Yeah, yeah, sort of like that, I guess. Of course, well, because you've been playing a lot in bars and clubs, or...? Mm-hmm, yeah. I, yeah, I don't know how you get a deal, you know. Um, just kind of happened. Did you? I mean, you choose. You deliberately chose to uh, well make music your living, right? Wasn't it totally hard? No, it's easy. Um, but I, I didn't really choose to. I just got lucky, you know. So Could you explain that? Well, I. <laughs> what? What's to explain? You know. I mean. Um, yeah, I was doing odd jobs and somebody wanted to put out a record of mine and then it just kind of went from there. But you had a job and you were playing music at the same time. I mean, that's pretty hard, I guess. I guess it would be hard if you didn't want to do it, but um, music doesn't feel like work to me, so no, it seemed easy. Does it come natural to you, writing songs and making music? Yes. Is it easy for you? Yes, pretty pretty much. If it was hard, then I wouldn't do it, you know. <laughs> Could you imagine ever stop making music? Um, I doubt it. I hope not. Because where do you get your inspiration from? Mm, nothing in particular. Just everything. Just think of songs all the time, you know. There's a song about L.A. in your new album. What about it? There's a song about L.A. in your new album. Well, it's called L.A., It's not about L.A.? Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't really... Uh, You're not into explaining your lyrics, right? No. Why is that? Because I, I don't think they need to be explained. They're just meant to make a mood, you know? But don't you ever get into contact with people who go like, well, your song, this and that, really um, had this impression on me, or it really changed my life, or whatever? Well, I don't know. Sometimes, I guess. But that's... Uh, yeah, it's up to them what... What they hear in something, not not me. I don't. There's no real uh, point, you know. It's um, just music. I like making music, and some songs are kind of direct, and it's pretty clear what they are about. I guess other songs are just sort of like little movies, you know. 
What what other music do you like? Sephira music. Uh, a lot of things. Lately, I've been listening to Nico a lot and Quasi, band from America. But um, all kinds of stuff. I like flamenco. I like rock and roll. You know. People call you a singer songwriter. Uh, do you consider yourself to be one? That's my name tag because I don't have a band. But I'm a sort of emulating a band. It's just that I'm kind of playing everything. What do you think is better, playing solo or playing with your band? It's just totally different things. Um, they're very different ways of playing. I like both of them. I like being able to not have to do the same thing all the time. You know. What do you think of? Um Of uh, more electronic stuff, like things that Avex Twin does, or uh, well, those guys. I don't. Really, I'm not that familiar. You know, I kind of listen to one record for months at a time, and oftentimes it's not a record that is really popular right now. So, But what do you think? What do I think? His stuff. I mean, he's really breaking ground. Like I said, I don't really know it. You know. And for your own music, do you, I mean, you know, what strikes me is that the, the things you do, you do so easily, it seems to me, without any pressure. I mean, you record your own records, and afterwards people look at it and, and they go like, well, this is amazing, this is, how did you do this? You start to frown, you start frowning at No, that doesn't make me frown. I, um, yeah, it's their thing, it's their interpretation, you know. Mm -hmm. I heard the story that you recorded one of your first albums in a bar. No, it was in uh, someone's house. Yeah, because there are a lot of rumors about you going uh, going around about uh, recording or writing stuff in bars. And yeah, I might make up some things in bars, not so much particularly because of alcohol in the bar, but because it's um, it's like a midway point between being at home and being out. You don't have to interact with someone, but you can. And there's enough noise and distraction that it it turns off the internal critic, you know? 